Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to this short video series on how to use Linux at work. This is an experiment that I wanted to conduct for a long time, so let's see how this goes. First of all, my day job is as a product owner. I write specifications, attend meetings, create presentations, demo our work. This implies using a wide range of applications from email and productivity apps to video editors, web browsers, prototyping and even graphics design apps. I was using a 2018 MacBook Air for that work, which my boss provided me with, but it just wasn't cutting it with its measly 1.6 GHz dual-core processor. This was the occasion I needed to switch to a Linux-powered laptop, namely my brand new Huawei MateBook 13. The setup. This computer is propped up on a laptop stand and plugged into an external 23 inches 1080p monitor. I use a Bluetooth keyboard and a USB mouse, as well as headphones. Since the MateBook 13 doesn't have full-size USB ports, I use an adapter to plug everything in. This is actually the dongle that I got with the MateBook. I'll be running Elementor OS here, since it's my favorite distro, and I'll try to create a workflow that works for me to complete my day-to-day -day tasks. The software. The first week went well. I managed to plug everything in, set everything up with ease, and I just had to transfer the various documents I used through a USB key and set up my work email and calendar. This was more complicated than I would have wished. We use a Zimbra-based solution, and while syncing the email account with the default app was a breeze, the calendar was more annoying. On the default Elementor OS calendar, not all appointments showed up, weirdly. Some recurring events didn't appear after syncing the calendar with CalDAV. Using Evolution solved the issue, but it's a far less enjoyable program to use with a design that doesn't look great on Elementor OS. In terms of applications, since I already used GIMP, Firefox and LibreOffice on the MacBook, I didn't come across any specific issues. I did have some iWork documents like pages, text files and keynote presentations that I couldn't open, but I'll open them on the online version of the suite and convert them to a more usable format. Here is the workflow I ended up using. I had my web browser opened on the external display, which is the one I look at mostly. It handles our wiki, our GitLab board and Asana, the tool we use to coordinate various tasks. On that same monitor, on a second workspace, I have Slack, which is our internal communication tool. On the laptop, I have a few windows open, notably email, which I receive few of, my calendar with evolution and a second web browser window for displaying our website and doing my various tests when needed. This works pretty well, and with the keyboard shortcuts to switch workspaces, I can be pretty efficient. The issues. Of course, there were some teething problems. The first I bumped into is the huge difference in pixel density in the screens. The MateBook screen is 1440p for 13 inches, and the external monitor is 1080p for 23 inches. This means that it's way bigger than the laptop screen, and if I decide to scale the laptop's interface, everything will be huge on the external display. Second issue is the magic mouse I used previously on the MacBook Air. This one does not work well with Linux, the scrolling is not supported. Not a big issue since this mouse is pretty horrible ergonomically anyways, being too flat and small. So I replaced it with a USB mouse for now and I'll try to find a decent Bluetooth one soon. Still, I miss having a mouse that can do gestures and switch from one workspace to the other with three fingers, or even just scroll in both directions. I'll have to look for something equivalent if only to get horizontal scrolling. If you have any recommendations, I will gladly take them. The battery life. Finally, in terms of battery life, the laptop spends most of its time plugged in, except when I'm in meetings. There, I found it could handle the charge pretty well. With Bluetooth and Wi-Fi still enabled, and screen brightness set to half, I only lost 14% of my battery in an hour. This was while taking meeting notes in Notes Up, and having all my regular windows opened in the background. In a more thorough battery test, unplugging the laptop at 10.30am with 100% battery left, I ended up at 12.30 with 66% of my battery left. This was with Wi-Fi enabled and used actively, a Bluetooth keyboard connected, a USB mouse plugged in, and the external 1080p display connected at all times with brightness set at half level on the laptop screen. This would put the laptop's battery life at around 6 hours for browser-based usage, with Slack running in the background and a bit of emailing and writing as well. It's not fantastic, but it's not terrible either, and I expect the laptop would fare a lot better without the external display and the peripherals attached. So that's it for this first week, I'll keep digging into setting up a good workflow on Elementary OS and let you know when I've achieved that. I hope you enjoyed this first look at how I plan to work with Linux. If you did, don't hesitate to like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!